Brillant Piano Festival la fourth edition it was all 29 September bra 1st October Koimala Capital Cultural Hall de Lugale se Koina organizes kan bra Friday de janai dis Brillant Piano Festival do music la community ke age loi jabole focus ase ar itu bra stakeholders kan sob ke la pani bole koshish ekta thaka jani paise it was all edition de bi performance competition aro pedagogy thaki bole ase Brillante Piano Festival started initially started as um, known as Brillante Nagaland Piano Festival, which started in the year 2017 with a vision to promote, you know, to encourage and celebrate piano learning here in Nagaland. But with time, the uh, with the unwavering support and interest from you know all across the globe, today it has become a pan India movement, and the festival is making its way to us again. And it is not worthy to loud the media fraternity in this regard. The credit for the escalating momentum of the festival all directs to the efforts of the media team for giving Brillanti the maximum coverage and promotion, taking it not only beyond the state boundaries but internationally as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you also for taking time to cover today's press conference. Uh, given your busy schedule, it means a lot to us. So thank you, the media fraternity present here. And also, I would like to thank our honourable Deputy Commissioner Sri Shanavas, C I A S, for joining us, sir. Your reputation goes beyond to inspire us, <laughs> setting an exemplary model for the younger generation as a leader. Brillante, your amicable to you know support towards Brillante and your presence here is going to set a new benchmark towards this history-making festival. So thank you for making time to be here with us. Brillante strongly you know, believes in um, supporting and uplifting musicians from in all different aspects. So to begin with our press conference, we have few artists to enthrall us with, you know, in different uh, diverse performances. So first off, we have a dance by Rosie. She is studying music in the operators and dance in Lam Gray's dance studio. So let's all welcome Rosie. Oh, I think the power of music and the way in music impacts uh, not just human beings, but even uh, nature in itself, or even animals, it, it is beyond uh, our capacity and understanding. So we want uh, the whole community to be blessed, to be inspired, uh, to be entertained, uh, to just be mesmerized by beautiful things that are going to happen in the hall during those three nights. Uh, we also have competition, and the competition is, uh, uh, is in Western classical and jazz. This is the only one of its kind in India as well, to have a multi-genre piano competition. And so uh, we will be having it um, starting kicking off very soon online. The prelims are online and the semi-finals and finals will be held during the festival live at the Capital Cultural Hall as well. So these three elements are something that is uh, that has grown and is really impactful and really they're the core of our festival and uh, that's what strengthens and makes our festival so, so special. I also want to say that, you know, Brillante is a spectacular piano festival. It is vibrant because it, uh, it, is, it really exemplifies the energy of the youth, not only of Nagaland, but also of the young India, a growing, a growing community that, is, uh, that has so much hope, that has so much to contribute, and there's so much to say uh, about any area of subject that they can put their energy into. And so we are vibrant, we are, we are innovative, we come up with new creative ways to engage uh, all of you, to even engage ourselves, because we like to do things that are meaningful to us as well, and that interest us as well. We're not doing this mainly just for, uh, for a momentum or just to time pass, <laughs> as we say sometimes, you know, just to go through an event. But we really believe in what we do. And that's why this year I am so honored to also initiate, along with my team, uh, the Specially Abled Musicians Project program, which, me, which is to celebrate basically the, our disabled community, our specially, special needs community, uh, to celebrate not only their achievements, but to celebrate the spirit of discipline and uh, overcoming all odds and how music has changed their lives and inspired them to persist in something that they have uh, put their hearts and mind to. So we are welcoming musicians from all over the nation or even 
outside the nation to be a part of the SAM program, which is the Specially Abled Musicians Program, uh, as we want to highlight their stories, to tell the, the world their story, and to inspire a whole community, maybe that has not had the platform to see them uh, in a real sense. So we want to do that. And so uh, we will be having special performers also at the Capitol Cultural Hall who will be performing, representing proudly that segment of the community. Uh, you must be wondering why I'm here. Uh, no, I don't play piano. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, I am here with their invitation, but I have some message also to give to all of you. So usually the press conference is like very serious. So we have discussions, controversies, counter questions and questions. So this is something different and I am enjoying it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that we all enjoy the performances and uh, something positive about uh, the region, about the district and what we are going to do. So what this event is going to be, and it, of course it started, it started from 2017 and how it is going to be on September 29, 30 and 1, Ms. Kachana has just explained. So I won't go into those details. So why uh, the district administration, of course, uh, we decided to support this kind of an event is that definitely we are going to have an international platform and national artists and international artists are going to come and be here. And our region, this northeast region and the states mostly are known for like very bad reasons these days. <laughs> so I think I want to encourage the youth <coughs> to come forward for these kind of positive events. So this is the image we want to project to the outside world. Not the image of our tribe, not the image of our village, and not the image of our <coughs> differences, what we are keeping, and the infights we are going to have. I think whether it's arts or sports or any platform like this, if that uh, union, that connection can happen in a place like Nagaland, where we are inviting people from other states and other countries to come here and see our land, where we can show what our hospitality actually means, where we can show the talents in our arts and sports. I think the younger generation especially, <coughs> we have to come together, forgetting all our differences and support these kind of events. So that is why we are here with that message. And definitely uh, we are also planning something uh, in connection with the Beti Bachao and Beti Padao uh, with their event. Of course, <coughs> we are yet to come to a specific <coughs> event, but definitely we will be coming it soon and it will be available to all of you. So these kind of events don't happen usually much in Nagaland and all. In cities like Delhi, Mumbai and all, you keep having these international events and national events where people come and participate and come together. So these kind of limited opportunities, I think we should grab it with both the hands. And these are the platforms where we can just uh, come together, uh, have some happiness and spread some happiness to the society so that we forget our differences and we come to uh, what is common with us. So I think uh, this is a good opportunity for all of us, especially it's happening, happening in the uh, state capital and being the administration in the state capital, uh, me and my EACA is also here. So we have come in support of them and I think we encourage all the youth in Kohima to come together and support this program. And whether you are a piano uh, player or a guitar player or if, if you don't have any connection <laughs> with the music at all, yes. still you can come and enjoy. Uh, still you can come and see the talents and promote the talents. I think, as I said in multiple occasions, uh, the playground of our youth is not Kohima, not Nagaland. It has to be the country, it has to be the entire world. So I think that is a message I wanted to give. <coughs> and thank you very much for inviting me here. It's my privilege. And all the best to the team and the event. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The, the concerts will be in the evening. I think September 5 o'clock and tends to be a little safe for Kohima. So we do a little early, so 5 p.m. in the evenings. Uh, that's a great question and I'm very comfortable to talk about it. Um, yes, uh, you know, Brillante is a local event that has gone global, actually. And uh, it has grown beyond our pockets and our dream is bigger than our pockets. But that's great because um, I think every edition, we just we dream about it first, and then we are very brave. I would want to congratulate all my team members for putting their trust in me and the vision of Brillante. And uh, we're kind of mad, I'm telling you, because we never look at our budget and we go ahead. So for this year, when we look at the budget, it came up to like 26 lakhs, 
And, but we started with 1.5 lakhs, and I think we have not even reached 20% um, of it at the moment. However, the way that uh, God has just, and you know, has just provided for this festival, even for now, is that the, as I was talking about different brands, no one has actually given us cash, but they take care of some expenses. They would sponsor an artist that's coming. So for KMMC and Adam Gray, who's coming from Chennai, you know, Tatma will sponsor them. Or maybe Yamaha would, Yamaha is taking care of all the prizes for, for the winners in terms of they're giving three digital pianos for the winners. And so things like that, where, where the Musi Musical will come in and do one resource. They, so they come on their own, they send their resource. And that's how we've been able to meet our ends, meet the needs of the festival. But I just want to also say that we do have a lot of, um, uh, I think if we have a lot more cash in the sense that if we meet our cash budget, we can also do much better than, um, than we have even planned. Uh, we want to really live up to the name of the festival, live up to the name of our state as well in hospitality. And we're gonna give our best no matter what. And our creative and logistics team also um, they think of the best way in the cheapest cost to make things happen and that's how we have been doing so if there's anyone who wants to support this festival we welcome you with open arms thank you <laughs>